why are you seeing food on people's faces? Because doesn't that hurt your the sale of your skincare line? Well, <laughs> actually, you know, I mean, you're so funny. <laughs> Actually, you know, um, natural actives are in my skincare products, but a lot of people don't know that you don't need to have a chemical to have the same effect. And today I'm going to show you how to do it externally and internally with the food I'll be making later. We have three examples yes. of sort of things that you can do for, for different parts of you. And the first one is your yeah. hair. So, All right, and this Vicky, is Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Vicky. How are you? Nice Hello. to meet Vicky's you. Vicky's problem here is her hair actually has a, a little bit of frizz, right? So you don't actually have to weigh the hair down a lot. So what we did here naturally is cantaloupes have a natural enzyme that actually helps coat the actual hair. So all you do is, do is mix this together and puree it in your food processor with little bananas and some yogurt. Every, everyone has that already in their kitchen, right? Right. So all you Wait, do there's some oil here, and, too. And olive oil here. Uh -huh. So, too, that's the binder which actually helps with the moisture. All you do is you take a little bit of this and you saturate the ends of the hair first, right? Just the ends of it, because that's where you actually want to hydrate first. The olive oil is going to go in, and the cuticles, you can see, start binding up together. So it makes your hair look like it's lustrous. And then you just start at the root area, and you just go into the root, and then you actually coat the whole hair by twisting it together. And you just keep on kind of like using it as a batter until it's done. And I think then Vicky's kind of enjoying <laughs> And then you wrap it together with cellophane when it's done. And it, this usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes, but you put a hair dryer on it if you want to accelerate it for about a minute, and you get a full hair. Really? Do you wash it out? Afterwards? Wash it right out in the shower. Okay, yeah. great. All right, good. All right, thanks, Vicky. <laughs> okay, now we have Rose. Rose. Okay. Now, I think this is really interesting because this is, hi, Rose. So this is for a facial mask, and yeah. it's from products that you have at home. And is it turmeric? Did I say yeah, that right? Yeah, turmeric, yeah. Turmeric is sort of this wonder spice. Mm -hmm. They say that actually it can help uh, reduce your risk of cancer and other it's, ailments, right? Yeah, internally and externally. So with turmeric, and you add this along with limes, right? Natural limes, when you actually roll it, it's not just good for cocktails, which you'll see in about a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> but um, the limes here have... have hyper-infused with vitamin C, but it's also a natural AHA, which is an alpha-hydroxy acid. That actually helps take away the anti-aging of lines and wrinkles on your skin. That is another line. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, rubbing a line all over the place. Okay. And then we have here, um, we have olive oil, and then we have, again, a little a bit of um, yogurt also, too. Now, the, the yogurt has probiotics, as you, well, you know, inside there. Right. And the polyphenols of that, that actually smooths the skin texture and tone and closes the pores up. Okay. Um, so what you do here is you just, it comes in and mixes just like this, right? Go ahead and use it. All you do is you just paint it onto the skin. And now what I do is I start out in the areas where you have the most challenges, right, which would be the eye area, because that's the first pe place people look outside of the hands. And then you just paint it onto the skin, and then you just kind of move it down now. So this helps with dark spots, melasma. This is great for somebody with a pregnancy mask trying to get rid of it, but it's naturally because you can't do a lot when you're pregnant. Okay. Well, you just wash this off, and then you will actually see a beautiful glow when it's done. So how long do you keep this on your skin? Five to ten minutes is the best case scenario for this mask. <laughs> All right, and finally we have Erica. Hi, Erica. Hi, Erica. How are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Dry skin issues, and we right? Here's some kale. Right okay, now. excellent. I, lo I love kale. Kale is my so. favorite. So when you eat this, it's not only good for your body with anti-aging, with keeping your body moisturized to actually look more smooth and plump, but also when you put this and you mix this together for a body scrub, you mince it down into an actual really micro size amount, and you you mix it with natural vegetable shortening. So what you do, and we're going to use this on, she has dry, flaky skin, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just smooth it onto the skin, and we're going to rub it onto the skin. Now, again, if you're eating this internally, it's going to help with the, with the body, and you just wash this right off in the actual shower. And it's so simple, and the effects are so great because this is a gentle yet effective. It's not like apricot seeds where it rips up your skin. And I'm going to grab a towel right here, and I'm going to show you the benefits instantly on the skin. So we're going to wipe it right off. Well, you know, this is you a really this? good point because these scrubs are the so expensive, between, you know? You see the difference between yeah. the skin? It's actually even toned versus darker. Yeah. This is great. So these are really great tips, and I think... One of the important things is these beauty products, as I mentioned, are so, so expensive. expensive. Right. Thank you so much for these no tips, problem. ladies. Thank you for being on Katie's Day. Next up, from putting things on your skin to putting them in your body, we'll tell you what you can eat that will make you look younger. That's right after this.